Hello everybody. As promised, today is the day I'm doing my top 8 Giants video. And as you see before me, I have my complete collection of Giants. Some boxed, some unboxed. So this should be fun. Uh, my wife did some gameplay yesterday for me. She did a really, really good job. Cute girl, you're wonderful. I love you a lot. Like I said, long time coming. I've actually gotten all the Giants a while back. I know most people that have done that already have done their top eight. But I wanted to wait um, so I could check out some other paths. Um, I did got Pumpkin Eyeball, so I did his second path. Gnarly Tree Rex and Legendary, much the same in that regard. I never did Crusher's second path because I never opened Granite Crusher or played him on the portal. That being said, I'll do a quick scan of them. And I might take I might take a few pictures and put those at the end. So you can see those as well. There's Granite Crusher. Got him online. Unfortunately, my tops never had him. If you watch my videos, you know I went there a lot. Never was there. Um, I didn't go the very first day. He probably was there that day. But like I said, they never restocked him beyond that first day. So there's him. Had to pay a little extra for him. Target exclusive, there's Ninjini. Um, Scarlet, and another Ninjini. The reason there's two is because one of these... Yeah, this one. For a time, for some reason, they made Ninjini with gray eyes. So that's why that one is boxed. Not exactly the same Ninjini. Go around Pumpkin. She's got him from Activision. And there's Gnarly. Got him at, at a store, which was cool. They reboxed him. As you know, you had to buy the Wii originally to get him. So that's cool. He was reboxed. He is actually very easy to find still. And the ones I play with. There's Hothead, Crusher, Ninjinis, Eyebrows, Tree Rexes, Bouncer, Thumbback, Swarm, and Legendary Bouncer on that end. So that's all of them. I think it's time to rank them. Hope you enjoy. Like I said, I snuck in some gameplay. Courtesy of my wife. Let's get to it. Alright, let's get this started. It's always fun, like I said, to do this stuff. Because everybody has their own favorites. Um, it was a lot of fun to try to decide which one I liked. And as you'll see, there's one I really never played with. Until about the very end. And then when I played with him, he became... Easily one of my favorites. But let's start at the bottom. My eighth favorite giant is Crusher is number eight on my list. Um, I didn't play with them a lot. The hammer attack, I don't like. It's a little slow. Um, the stones, which is a path I think I didn't try. 
didn't like it all that much. What else does he do? He does the freeze thing. Which is alright. Freezes the enemies for a bit. But the time he winds up is... Whatchamacallit, what is that? Hammer. By the time he does that, um, they're already back to life. I know. Just not one of my favorites. So that's number eight. Let's move on. My seventh favorite giant is... I usually like the fire element, so a bit of a surprise he's down this far on the list. Another one, just kind of normal. Don't really like any of his attacks all that much. Um, the rain thing is cool, but I don't know. My wife actually did it. I like the gameplay for doing the rain fire thing, which is really cool. Took out pretty much all the enemies. That was cool. But overall, he's number seven. That's as good as he gets. Let's move on to number six. Number six is a bouncer. Now he's actually one that I played a little more in the beginning. Um, I took this one down the rocket path, the legendary down the gun path, I believe. You'll be able to tell by the gameplay video you just watched. Cool guy. Kind of reminds me of Trigger Happy a lot. It just has the guns. Beyond that, um... Not too much. Rocket thing I don't like that much. And the eye thing is pretty effective. It's a powerful attack, but he goes a lot slower when he does it. So that's number six. Let's move on to number five. Number five, Mr. Eyebrawl. Now I know there's a lot of people that have him a lot higher because I've watched a decent amount of these videos. And honestly, I actually had him a lot lower. Um, when I first got him, I didn't really like him all that much. I didn't play him a lot. Um, when I pr first started playing him, he was probably down there in the 7-8 range, actually. So, Eyebrawl fans... He did move up. So don't yell at me too much about that. He gets better as you upgrade him, I guess you could say. Um, that's pretty much him. The eye thing is cool. Shoots it up, shoots, his eyeball comes out, sorry, and he shoots. The eyebrow, eyebrows. <laughs> the 
eyeballs out out of the ground. I can't talk suddenly. The eyeballs out of the ground are cool as well. Um, the combos are pretty cool. We got a little bit of the, oh boy, a little bit of that in the video. What else does he do? Oh, he shoots his eyeball out. Am I missing anything? Now that's pretty much it. I love the pumpkin eyeball. Oh, can't see. Love him. Like the all black and the pumpkin head. So that might be why I like him a little more as well. So there he is. Let's move on to number four. Alright, Ninjini is number four. Correct? Yes, I'm on number four. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I like her figure a lot. Probably of the Giants. The actual figure itself without gameplay. I probably would rank her number one. She's a pretty good looking girl for a toy. Um... That being said, like when I got her, I loved her a lot. Um, she was actually, when I first started playing her, probably one of my favorite characters. And I love her variety. That has, that's one thing she has going for her. Um, the only thing I don't like about her and really downgraded her in my eyes was her swords. They're very slow. Um, takes a while for her to kind of wind up and kill. Her orbs are actually really powerful. Um, originally I used her knives a lot, but after that I kind of used her orbs almost exclusively. Because she's pretty fast, and those work really well. So, it's actually the, the one orb is a lot better than the four, because the four kind of go... Wherever they want, I would say. And like I said, with the variety, her bottle thing is really cool. And the kind of smoke thing, where she kind of she freezes her enemies, is pretty sweet as well as you saw in the gameplay. My wife did. She's wonderful. So that would be number four. We're into the top three.
Just swing his anchor a few times. Or do the choppy thing. Hey! That, oh, see? Oh, that was even better. Alright, number three is Thumpback. He's probably one of the giants. Before the game came out, I was looking forward to the most. Of the Giants, he has by far the best detail. Um, the tongue in his mouth. Um, all the bumps on him, whatever you call those. Everything about him is really super detailed. He's <laughs> kind of a big bulky figure. Which is sweet as well. And his gameplay is really sweet. Um, his anchor. Upgraded. Does a ton of damage, and I actually think it's a bit faster than Ninjini's swords. Um, he whips it around really quick. Um, his chop is very powerful. If you're up close to enemies, just do that a few times. What am I missing? Oh, and the coolest thing about him is his belly flop. Um, he does a belly flop, and then in addition you can squirt out, he squirts out extra stuff. Which is cool. Just a lot of fun things with him. Um, he's probably... Well, he's number three, so... Has to be one of my favorite giants to play. And he's probably getting close to my top ten characters overall. Which I'll do soon. So he's number three. I enjoy him a lot. I look forward to see what he looks like in the new game. With the better graphics and such, he should look really, really sweet. All right, let's go to number two. Number two, Mr. Tree Rex. This is a giant that I did not play at all. When I first got Tree Rex, which was with the game, didn't really touch him at all. He kind of just sat there. I played with the other two characters and the other characters that I got originally. And he kind of just sat there. But, once, he's another character, once you start playing him and you upgrade him, he's really good. He just does a large variety of things. He can get out of really any sort of trouble. And that's what's made him number two on my list. Like I said, when I first got him, um, he was down... <coughs> <coughs> if I would have done this list earlier, he would have been way down the list. Probably down there with Crusher and Hothead. But like I said, great variety and very powerful in some cases. Um, his beam that shoots out of his hand when you charge it up. Almost positive. I think it does over, around 100 damage. And it really doesn't take that long to charge up. There's some attacks that take a bit. But his really doesn't. 
Uh, so that's really powerful if you need to do that. He has his running rampage arm thing, which is really powerful, and you can even upgrade that if you want. Um, his um, floor, ground, ground, that's a better word. His ground smash is quick as well. Like I said, everything he does is just really quick, and you wouldn't think that from Tree Rex. That's kind of initially, I thought he was a slower character. But he's, he does everything really quick. And what makes him really cool, it kind of bumps him up a little bit. It's probably this bumps him above. Thump back is his woodpecker. It's really cool if you're close to enemies. You get close. He flies around. And helps you out, which is sweet. Which you saw in the gameplay. Number two. If you forgot about Tree Rex, you haven't upgraded him all the way, do it because you need that woodpecker. And, I, and you need to play him more. Because he is really good. And really powerful. So if you haven't taken a second look at Tree Rex, do it. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Number one. You know who it is now. We just had to get to number two, but number one is... Swarm is number one for me. Now, that might be a surprise. I don't know. No idea. But it really isn't even close. Um, there's actually some distance between Thumpback and Tree Rex and Swarm. Um, as soon as I opened him up, and I think he might have come out with the game, or early on, not with the game, but early on, I believe. As soon as I start playing him, he was great. His stance is great. Probably has one of the best stances. I like how he looks. Um, everything about him is cool. A uh, little bit of a story. I played my stepdaughter in battle mode a few days ago. She was Scarlet Ninjini. And she was kicking my tail. I think I chose... Well, she started to choose um, Sonic Boom. Um, some of my other favorites, she picked some of the crappy characters. Kicked my tail. I even even did a Scarlet Ninjini Ninjini match. She beat Ninjini. And I said, let me put Swarm on her. She beat me five, six straight times. Put Swarm on there. I beat her finally. And that was that. So, has to be my favorite jet. I can't win with any other one, apparently. Great range of attacks as well. I actually don't use the bee swarm thing all that much. But everything else is great. Um, his hands, where he crosses them and charges up, takes a bit, bit of time. <laughs> But it's pretty powerful. Um, I love his flying. That's probably one of my favorite things. I like I like most of the characters that fly. So that might have something to do with it too. Um, when he flies, I have him on the path where his wings deal damage. He has the spikes. 
So you can just basically fly around people and he does damage. And then when he's flying and there's someone on your tail or stinger per se, um, he has the butt stinger thing. So you can kind of knock him back a little bit. So that's a cool advantage. And then just his normal thing where he flails his arms around. It's pretty sweet because he does it several times. It kind of has this last second slash thing, which you saw. So that is it. Swarm's my favorite. It's actually a little disappointing. I wish Swarm had a variant. I mean, he's one of only two. I think him and Thumpback are the only two that don't have a variant. If he did, I would have bought it because, like I said, Swarm is my number one giant. What's yours? Tell me what yours is. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And as always, adios.